Hi there. This is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well and thank you for watching this clip on polar equations. Here we're asked to convert a polar form into a Cartesian or rectangular form. Cartesian is actually named after 17th century French mathematician René Descartes. Um, big dude philosopher, if you want to impress your friends, you can say, I am because I think, or I think, therefore I am. I think it's the second version. Anyhow, um, he has a very tragic life and wife and kids all died and anyway, back on to math. Um, what you want to do with this one when you get into Cartesian is you start thinking in terms of only two things really. When you have a polar coordinate look like this, the only thing you have is this chunk is equal to r cosine theta, which is equal to x. And this chunk is r sine theta, which is equal to y. So do whatever you have to get into the r times something. Now here, obviously, you don't have r. So the big clue is let's multiply r on both sides. So you have r squared over here, and then you have 4 sine theta times r. Obviously, here, r times sine theta, we're happy because that becomes a y. Let's leave 4 over here, and r squared is x squared plus y squared. So we trick the system by multiplying r on both sides, and we end up with x squared plus y squared equal to 4y. Now, if you are curious what this one looks like, what you can do is, sometimes on a test, the teacher asks you, is to move them onto one side. And obviously here, I hope you recognize, because the plus sign here, you have a circle. Now, where, where the center of the circle and what the radius is, you do have to do a little more work, not too much more. Let's add a square and subtract a square equal to zero. I like adding and subtracting on one side because chances of you forgetting to add something on the other side is a lot less. Okay, And the thing we want to add in here is half of the coefficient and squared. So in our case, it's four. The reason we want to do that is all the first three terms gets to be combined into a perfect square. I have a minus sign here, actually, two is equal to 4. Let's move this 4 over. So obviously now you can see it's pretty easy. It's a center as a square. So square. Oh boy, can't talk today. Uh, it's a circle. Center is at 0 because this one is really x minus 0 squared. And y is at 2 with the radius of 4 radical, which is 2. So you can graph this one. In a Cartesian coordinate, we have uh, two units there, and here's our circle, which kind of makes sense if you think about it. If you graph the same circle in polar coordinate, okay, so the radius keep on changing on you depending on what angle you're looking at. Here's one angle, here's another angle. If you go over here, there's another r. So they keep on changing on you. If you think about it, and that makes sense. Now, Cartesian coordinates is a lot more user friendly, in my opinion, but you got to grow in math, right? Otherwise, you stagnate. So here's the circle. As you can see, depending on what angles you're changing, the length of the R keep on changing on you, and in the end, you become a circle. Pretty neat in the end. All right, I hope this is clear. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pam making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.